Recently, I've been expanding and modifying a bunch of the LEGO modular buildings. It pretty much all started with the Daily Bugle, which is absolutely massive. And then there's the Police Station, City Press, and also Donut Cafe. And across the street from that is the massive corner garage. One of my more recent modifications has been to the Sanctum Sanctorum. And one of the largest is actually the Boutique Hotel, where I used three sets to convert it into a double corner building. And just around the corner from it is the double pet shop. There's also the Jazz Club, which was expanded from one base plate to one and a half. That gave the Jazz Club a bigger facade and also the pizzeria. Framing the train station is one of my newest modded sets, which is the Lego City downtown. Oh yeah, and then at the end of the Nougat Street, that's what I'm gonna call it, the Nougat Street, because there's so many Nougat buildings, we have the double bookshop. And because I have two bookshops and two pet shops, I'm able to have four of these townhouses. I also took five of the Heart Lake City school sets, yep, that's right, five of them, and made this massive school. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, my original double is actually beside the Daily Bugle, which was Peter Parker's apartment and pizzeria. That came from the original Sanctum Sanctorum set. The custom Sanctum Sanctorum that I built using those two sets has been parted out though. I've also taken a bunch of creative three-in-one buildings and over doubled them, and they're all in a row right here by the beach. So after going around and filming all those little clips there, I realized, holy cow, I have modified a ton of modular buildings. It's ridiculous. However, the Grand Emporium, the Palace Cinema, the Town Hall, and the Brick Bank are still all original. Well, of course, there's more than that. There's also the Fire Brigade, Detective's Office, and Downtown Diner, but I think that's it. I would say that the Grand Emporium could probably use one more floor and i know for sure the brick bank definitely needs another floor like seriously look how small that thing looks beside the upgraded corner garage and town hall now i'm not overly excited about acquiring second sets to try and increase the size of the grand emporium in the brick bank because as you can imagine those sets are really expensive what i would rather do is try and use the parts from my inventory to add another floor to these modular buildings so in order to do this, I need to try and figure out what parts I need for those additional floors. So the first thing I did is I went to bricklink.com where of course you can search any set. And if you search the Grand Emporium, for example, we can pull open that set just by clicking here. And then you can add all of the parts from this set to a wanted list by clicking part out. And when you go part out, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of your minifigures, create a new wanted list. I'm gonna call this one here Emporium and then it's gonna give you all of the pieces that are included in the set. So what I decided to do is just make a wanted list with all of the pieces from this set. The next thing I did is went to lego.com where you can download their instructions and I just looked up the Grand Emporium. So I actually downloaded two different instruction manuals, the third one, that's this one right here, and also the second one. The reason I did this is because I wanted to get the parts list for the escalator there, but I wanted to build my additional floor for the Grand Emporium based on the third floor, just because this one here doesn't have those flags. So after I had the instruction manuals, I literally just went through here and just noted all of these on my BrickLink wanted list. For example, this is a one by eight plate, this is a one by six plate. So all I did was go here and I searched uh, one by eight. You can also isolate them by color or whatever it may be. Uh, but if you search one by eight, you're gonna see your one by eight plates there. So as I came across those parts, for example, we needed one one by eight plate there. All I did was added this to my quantity have list. And I did that for every single page in that instruction manual. So I literally just went through here and marked all of those things in my wanted list as quantity halves until they were all there. After that, I went to this instruction manual and I found out what parts create this escalator and did the exact same thing. Oh yeah, and of course I left out this chandelier because I don't need two chandeliers in my Grand Emporium, but I do need two escalators. But wait a minute, why am I marking all of these parts in the have column? I need those parts. Well, I just did that as like a temporary holder. So what I did after I had all of the parts in my wanted list, Everything that had a zero, I went through and deleted because I clearly didn't need those parts to create another floor for the Grand Emporium. And then I just swapped the two numbers. So I just took the two parts that are in my have column, I put them in my want column, and I zeroed the have column, and then I updated the wanted list. And then after that, I had a wanted list that showed me all the parts that I needed to build an additional floor for the Grand Emporium with the escalator. 
And then of course I did the exact same thing for the brick bank as well. So I do realize that there's a bunch of different ways that that probably could have been done, but that's just the way that I wanted to do it. Just because if I have all the parts that I require in a wanted list, I can now go through my parts inventory, pick all the parts that I have, and whatever I don't have at the end of picking, I can very easily buy on BrickLink. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to do that. Of course, I could have just grabbed my instruction manuals or used those PDF versions and started building. Or what I could have done is just grab the sets, grab the floors that I wanted to duplicate, and then just start building based on that. But I didn't want to go back and forth to my parts a million times. I just think it's easier to pick all the pieces and then build. So of course at this time I don't have like all of the pieces that are required to add additional floors to these buildings, but I have a huge percentage of them. And also I can do uh, part substitutions and color swaps to add additional floors. So that's what I'm gonna do because I'm not really overly interested in having these parts just sit around in my almond trays all sorted for a month waiting for these uh, BrickLink orders to arrive or just waiting for me to place the BrickLink order. So what I'm gonna do is build the floors using the parts that I have. So there are gonna be some mismatched colors and stuff like that, but eventually we'll get it all straightened out and these buildings will look even more epic than they already do in the LEGO city. Just a quick note about the Grand Emporium. The interior is sort of lacking and that's sort of common with the old modular buildings. For example, like there's not a whole lot going on in the interior. This is supposed to be a shopping center and there's just some balls and some gold dishes there and some cups on a rack. So eventually what I would like to do is improve the interior of these modular buildings. That would be super neat. So when I was uh, making my parts list there, I didn't include the parts for the displays just because why would I do that? I'm not gonna order parts to build those displays because eventually I want to improve the quality of it, right? So that's the uh, original second floor. Here is my second floor. Uh, once again, note the part substitutions. There are some mismatched colors. Pretty much everything that you see in white has to be ordered. I didn't have the dark green windows in my inventory, but I had them in white. Uh, some of these arches were missing. Some of these uh, one by plates with the rail were missing. And once again, more arches on this side here. But it's gonna be very easy just to order all of these windows in the dark green color, order these rail plates in the uh, dark gray color, and then make those part substitutions when those parts arrive. Uh, so essentially, like I said, I duplicated this one here but I referenced this floor because it didn't have those flags. And then I just took out the escalator from here and put it over here. And then I didn't copy over the chandelier. Also, as I was doing this, I noticed that I didn't have the correct size of plate, but you don't need to use the plates that they use in this set, right? So what you can do is just make some part substitutions. Like this is the original one, right? And then this is mine. It's like, well, I already have these plates. I'm not gonna order more plates of different sizes just so it follows the instructions when I can build the exact same thing with the parts that I have. And look at that. You can look right down through the Grand Emporium to the ground floor. The escalator detail was essential. I actually forgot how simplistic that escalator is to build. I was very surprised. I was like, wow, that is not difficult at all. I actually haven't built this in a very long time. And the neat thing about the Grand Emporium is the fact that my wife, Jose, Mrs. Brixie, she actually got this for me as a Christmas present when I first started building my Lego city. So it's pretty special. You can probably hear my kids rolling a ball around upstairs above me, but here's the new and improved Grand Emporium with the additional mismatched colored floor. I have seen people take two of these and make it a double corner. That would be super cool. Could you imagine doing that and also adding more floors. It would be the Mucho Grande <laughs> Grand Emporium. That would be super neat, but I definitely am not gonna be forking out the cash to buy an additional set. However, with that said, I don't know what this thing would part out at. Like, I don't know what it would cost just to buy the pieces to sort of duplicate it and make it a double corner because I definitely don't need the minifigures the box or the instructions. So maybe you could part this set out for cheap. 
the driver of the price might be those dark green windows. So now that I have this done, what I need to do is update my wanted list with all of these pieces. For the most part, it's already done, but I made some plate substitutions and stuff like that. So I just gotta make sure that that's all taken care of. Luckily for me, it's pretty easy to identify what parts I need because for the most part, they are white. You know what, tell you the truth, all of my modular buildings are somewhat modified because I've actually changed the sidewalk color and mills plated them. Typically this would be a dark gray sidewalk, but I decided to go with light gray. But now it's time to increase the height of the brick bank. Being a newer modular building, the brick bank interior is actually sick. Nicely tiled off, you've got like the teller there, the giant vault, and then there's also the laundry mat, and the story that goes on inside the brick bank is pretty cool. Check it out. There's a piece of deco right there. I bet you that's like been in the model since I built it when this was released. That's pretty funny. That's an old piece of deco hair. Then we've got our uh, second floor right here. It's got the sand green windows. I did not have sand green windows and I did not have the two by two circular textured bricks and I actually had to make a modification to the additional floor. You'll see that in one moment. It's got some interior details in here which are pretty cool. There's like that desk right there with the coffee machine, the clock with, that's mounted using a bracket, and then the uh, big wigs office right there. So there's definitely been some part substitution, but actually did pretty good. Uh, sand green windows were definitely lacking. There's some tan ones here and also some green ones. Uh, some interior details are missing right now. I'm sure I could probably whip those up. Uh, such as the coffee machine and the desk, but maybe I want to add some different interior details Maybe it shouldn't be an exact replica. There is a different office right here Look at that. If you got some stories in there uh, now there are some uh, Missing pieces here. So once again those windows also the textured bricks the two by two circular ones are definitely not in my inventory So I'll have to order those and then we've got some more pieces over here these pillars in the dark orange for the office and this is the part that's above the soaps and studs entrance definitely don't have those so i'll have to once again update my bricklink wanted list just to reflect the pieces that i need and then get those pieces on order but i'm glad that the pieces that i do have to create this aren't just laying around because that would just annoy me and now I just got it done, we've got an additional floor. And once again, there were some part substitutions that were made in the floor, like some of the plate dimensions were changed up because why wouldn't I just use the parts that I have? Now the top of the brick bank is actually pretty neat. It is right here. Forgot how like thick that is, it's like the roof. So this actually makes it super easy to modify because this just stays the same and this is pretty much identical to this floor, but there is one change with the fence right here. So this plate layout just changes because you want this arch that connects to the roof to be continuous. Don't really want to break that. And it just makes it look more natural as a tall building. And that's how it would be if this building actually was issued with an additional floor. Well, there we go, mission accomplished. Uh, however, I guess it's not 100% complete yet because I've still got to place some brick link orders to get those pieces. And also I've got a whole bunch of other pieces that I need to order from brick link for the Winter Village. I've got some really good ideas for that involving the Winter Village train and also the Winter Village train station. I parted them out the other day and took out the minifigures and did the auto buy function and let me, well, not the other day, it was the same day that I was doing this. And let me tell you, holy cow, it is uh, reasonable, especially if I go through and pick all of the pieces from my inventory, I should be able to add those two sets to the Winter Village. So that is pretty exciting. Also in regards to the Winter Village, I need to order more pieces because just like the modular buildings, I want to try and modify some of these winter village sets by completing the back of them as well. Just for fun, here's a before shot. And after, they're definitely a little bit more substantial now. Especially when you see them placed among the other modular buildings. Like the brick bank, that is so much better. It should have came with one additional floor, don't you think? Actually matches Town Hall. In the Grand Emporium, it might look a little bit large in its position beside the Palace Cinema. Maybe I could add another floor to the Palace Cinema doing the exact same thing. I don't know if it needs it, but I think the interior details, such as the actual theater part, 
could use an upgrade, and then all you would do is just add another theater to the Palace Cinema. Probably makes sense. Maybe you'll have to do that as well, and then slowly but surely change all of my modular buildings. One thing that I really want to do is add one more floor to Town Hall. And something that would make it even more epic is to change it into a double corner. So rather than having these uh, half base plate corner buildings on either side of the Town Hall, could you imagine if it was a double corner Town Hall with one additional floor? So this same orange color wrapped around that way and wrapped around this way and you had the same window design and then you had one more floor of height that would solve this problem something i could do to solve that problem right now is just put a billboard there but wouldn't it be cool to have one more floor and a double corner town hall that would just be epic but there we go we've made some more modifications to my modular buildings here in the lego city with the additional floors for the brick bank and also the grand emporium Minus the mismatched colors. I plan on solving that problem relatively soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and sort of tutorial on how to add additional floors to these modular buildings and to pretty much any modular building. You can duplicate what I did very easily and it won't cost you as much money as buying an additional set, especially if you have a huge parts inventory. Definitely uh, a good way to do it. Hey, thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.